Hi everyone, my name is Ann Wasserman. I spend a lot of my time working with antique and vintage quilts and repairing places that have broken. Um, I'm here today to share with you a quilt that's been on my work table recently. It's a lovely wool crazy quilt from the Victorian era and it's got lots of really lovely and some very whimsical embroidery like this. So come and walk around this quilt with me for a little while. So I'll start our little video tour here with these two lovely birds. Down below them, we have Charity. And over here, Hope. And on the other side of the bluebirds, we have love. Each one in its own heart made with a double row of French knots. Here's a really intriguing border design between two patches. And above that, this long row of interlocking rings. A very favorite motif for qu crazy quilts of this era, but this is a particularly long row of rings. Next, some beautiful red budded flowers. And above that, these two really intriguing prism-like shapes, not a usual motif on crazy quilts. And then these two large, beautifully rendered flowers. Here's another intriguing geometric shape made with chain stitch and French knots and some more happy flowers. And then over here on the left, there's a embroidered fan, which is another favorite motif on crazy quilts of this era. I really like the way the variegated thread she used here makes the scissors really look like they're shiny metal. Up here, she did a couple of anchors really nicely drawn. And next to them, some cheery red flowers. Quilters always have and always do still like to put flowers on their quilts. And cattails, I love them and happily so did this quilter. The threads were broken in some places and dangling and I did tiny little running stitches across to hold them down in place again. Here's the lovely thing. Quilt historians always love a dated quilt because there's so much information that can be learned about fabric history, kinds of fabrics that were available when, styles that were used. Here's another lovely embroidered patch edge. Um, this is one this quilt maker liked quite a bit. She used it fairly often. And over here, this lovely set of illuminated initials. There was a rip in the top edge of this patch. You can see up at the top that I have already mended. Um, but wow, look at this lovely embroidery. And finally, my work table itself, starting with the pile of fabrics that I pulled from my stash and used for restoration patching on the quilt. Um, my little basket of scraps, threads, scissors, pins, and so on. Here's a small patch that has been mended with a vintage wool. It's fairly close in color. And over here, there's a rip in the wool. There's an underlay been placed under, and it's ready to be stitched. That's the next place I'm going to sew. So, isn't she a fun quilt and beautiful? Some just really delightful embroidery. I will have pictures of the whole quilt and some of the family stories that come along with it because this quilt still belongs in the family of the person who made it, which is always a delight. I'm also here to remind you that I'm teaching a workshop on taking care of vintage and antique quilts, restoration, conservation, preservation. Down below the video, you will find the link to find all the work information about the workshop and how to register. There's also a link to the book I've written on these topics and also a link to my blog. So I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.